Hello and welcome back to another character preview video. My name's Lumen and today we're having a look at Jected Rivals. Dive right into a crazy mix of extreme sports, vehicular destruction and breakneck speeds in a winner-takes-all elimination tournament between 18 players. Master the unique ejection mechanic allowing you to take to the skies and leave your rivals in the rear view. So yes, if it wasn't obvious, this is a racing and stunt game with a whole lot of different game modes, a lot of different characters, and it also doesn't seem to take itself too seriously, which is kind of cool. It looks like a lot of fun. That said, the game has characters, stunt men and women that you can pick from and play as, and it's also got cars, vehicles that you can use. And in this video, we're going to have a look at all of those. I'm going to say here right at the start that I get the feeling that most of this is just cosmetic. There doesn't seem to be much of a difference. You are picking a character that you want to be here. You know, you're picking the style, uh, the sound, and everything else. With the cars, yeah, some of them seem like they might be faster, some might be tougher, some might be more interesting. But they don't put any specific statistical information here, so they're not front-loading that, so I guess it's not all that important. You can do what you want to do with any of them. That's cool. Now, with that said, we're going to jump in, have a look at the rivals, then the cars, and then I'll briefly show you where the store is, where you can get the starter and supporter packs, if these ones tickle your fancy. Beginning with Roberto Fabrizio, Rob the Delivery Man. Rob's the newest shining star, but has long years of experience racing back and forth through the narrow streets of Rome, delivering food to hungry customers. I guess he got hungry for more. A bigger challenge and a bigger prize upon delivery. You can unfortunately not rotate the characters or anything like that, but if you do select one and jump into the game, then you can obviously look at it. You can run around as your character and you can get a closer look. Smooth. Emiko Abe, or Abe. Emi the ballerina. Emiko has the potential to soar higher than anyone in this game. Leaping over rooftops in full split is her hobby. If that sounds surprising, then... Where have you been? She's one viral ex-ballerina turned parkour star, and she can do all of this with grace and poise, bringing beauty and art to the competition. You will also notice that every time you select one, they have their little voice lines. I think they got two or three each. Let's go! Look alive! Ready, set, smooth. Next up we have... Ready. Sep Wolner. Sep the stunt man. Sep's the toughest man for the toughest job. He's been doing stunts since he was in diapers. Makes sense he got into this career since his father started this event back in the days. But he's more than a legacy. He's worked hard to land where he is today. And he's here to win. Yeah? Time to bounce! Well, hello! Then we have... I know all the gadgets, inside and out. Saya Alfathi, Saya the Tinkerer. Saya's been tinkering with stunt gear since day one. This event actually owes her a great deal for providing tech before the Silvestri Corporation brought in their high-tech solutions. She's never faltered and always puts in the highest possible gear. Any motor issues, she'll fix them up. And now she's hoping it'll get her the first prize. I do like that they're throwing lore and stuff in here, you know? They've got sort of little bits and pieces in all these characters' uh, profiles. And I suppose it'll all come together to give the game a, a decently built world. Next up. If anything's in my way, I'll just zoom past it. Yeah, zoom past it. Samuel Bailey, Sam the Influencer. Sam has followed this event since he was a teenager and even hosts his own streaming channel about it. The son of an admiral was used to danger and frequently put himself into risky situations, but it all worked out fine because here he is, recording it all as he goes. He's got that something extra and will do anything for fame. And we have... This is best left to the professionals. Angelica Goldstein, Annie the Daredevil. She's the veteran at this stunt event. A while back, she almost put the stunt in aside and retired, but that's not her style. The show must go on, she said, and put on the helmet her late husband gave her. Now, she's out for the big prize, and she's a fiery competition for all the contestants. Our final character. Erasing unnecessary files. It is comparable to when humans are scratching an itch. Fulfilling. Andy. Andy the crash test android. Andy might only be one year old, but they have experience to boot. It's not every day a crash test dummy gets to race, but if anyone can do it with ease, it's Andy. Going full throttle and never second guessing choices, you could say they were born for this. Especially the crash in part. <laughs> it's pretty cool, I guess. It is a cool idea. Now, I'm going to mention this here and when we check the store out later, there are apparently three more characters coming for the supporter pack. 
not the starter pack as far as I understand. And they're going to be added during the early access period. They're not here yet right now. When it's all out and the game releases fully, I'll check them out as well. But with all of that shown, we are going to be jumping into the garage. Now, I'm probably not going to be reading you every car's description because why? Why? Uh, but if you'd like to, you know, check it out for yourself, you can see it right here. Uh, I will go through all the cars and show you. Uh, it's not so much a car customization channel, if you get what I'm saying, but the cars are cool. This is the Beanie one. Uh, it's it's a cute little Mini Cooper. I really like it. Here we have the Notobu SR. I'm assuming this is the, the, the company that made it. This one looks way faster. These are your three starter cars. Then we have the Big Bull. Yeah, it's also kind of cool. Unfortunately, once again, you can't uh, rotate them and, and sort of look around. I see Andy up there in the, in the rafters. Here we have the shock. And you will immediately see, obviously, starter pack, starter pack, starter pack, and then these ones are in the supporter pack. They all have very satisfying sounds when you actually drive them around uh, on the stunt courses, which is nice. And as far as I've felt, uh, and this is not really much to do with the customization, but the driving does feel pretty cool. DJ SUV. Monte or Monte 300 SI. I, I feel like this is a Peugeot 206 or something like that. <laughs> they, they're all obviously sort of, you know, based on real cars, uh, just modified. Tenpi 500 S. That looks fantastic. Wow. And then finally, the Matoshi GTR. They will have like custom made logos and stuff like that. This is kind of a cool idea. It's kind of a cool idea. And you can obviously, if you're a car person, you can easily pick out like where all of these belong, uh, what they actually are. I'm sure you guys could tell me what this is and what that is. And I mean, I could probably tell you that this is the, the, is that the Ford Mustang? Or is that like a Chevy or something? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not much of a car person, but there you go. Those are the cars. Some pretty cool choices here. Uh, and honestly, yeah, they're fun. I do hope that at some point they give you more customization over it. So they let you like customize the, the car and the paint job and all that stuff fully. But hey, it's early days. So that kind of stuff could still come. Now, if we go back here, I can show you the main menu. This is where you pick your game modes. You can jump into the Discord or social media, uh, or you can get the packs. The two packs that they have available right now, the starter pack and the supporter pack. When you click these, it takes you through to the Steam store and you can pick it up there. The game itself is free, with these packs costing extra for those cosmetic options. Not necessarily needed if you want to play the game. But that does bring us to the end of this video. We had a quick look at the rivals. On your mark. Ready. We had a quick look, look at the cars. Testing is the first and yeah, towards the menus. All my fans backing me up. That's why I'm here. One last round before the toll. Preparing all my circuits. In all honesty, it's pretty basic as it is right now, but that's not a bad thing. It's a good place to start. It seems like they have a lot of character in these characters. And yeah, as far as I can tell, they seem to care at least about the cosmetic appearance of the game. And that's good. The characters here, yeah, I mean, there's probably something for everyone. Once again, I do think it would be cool if they gave you customization options over the characters themselves. Like, you could pick this guy, then you could pick from a few different outfits or stuff like that. But that could still be coming. Who knows? I like it. They're cool. Yeah. It's very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, I also think that, you know, in all honesty, I do feel like maybe the free selection could be a little bigger. But eh, you've got a male and a female character. You've got three cars that cover three pretty uh, different areas of expertise. And I think that's probably all right. But it's always good to give people more free stuff to have them enjoy the game more, you know, with the potential of them spending money. But anyway, that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick look at Jected Rivals. If you have tried the game out, I'd love to hear from you what you think. I played a little bit. I checked it out. It's cool. It's fun, I suppose. And, you know, because it's free, you're not really losing anything jumping in, except a bit of your time. So, yeah, if you want to check it out, you can find the links below, as always. And that's going to bring me to the end. Give this video a like, share it, and do all that other good stuff. Most importantly, happy creating those characters, or in this case, previewing them. Happy that.